everyone. I'm Dottie Stitch and Scotty, and this is my little one of my little Scotty Striker. Um, he really is glad to see me because I've just gotten home from a retreat. Um, and we're going to talk about it in today's video. This is floss tube number 167. It's April the 15th. And today is Monday. I'm a little bit behind, but I'm going to play catch up. There'll probably be two videos this week pretty quick because this retreat is about the two, t I mean, this video is about the Two Tall Stitchers retreat in uh, Whitestown, Indiana. And I had a wonderful time. Then I've got like a couple of, um, I've got some FFOs, which I'll have to insert a picture because I've already given them away. I've also got some whips. Uh, there will be no Etsy shop today because I have a real treat for y'all today. Some beautiful, beautiful needlework by one of my friends. And I want to show you that. And we also have a shop tour of Persnickety uh, Stitches in Zionsville, Indiana, where Carol works from Two Tall Stitchers. And Jen works there too sometimes. So that's going to be a real treat. So I can't wait to do that. All right, um, hold. And when I was at the retreat, this is my other Scotty, Winston. He's a little camera shy. You can tell his ears are not standing up, but they said they love the dogs. And I know my mother-in-law, Jeanette, she loves the dogs too. So hello, Jeanette, Belinda, and Stephanie, and to everyone that loves my boys. All right, let's get started. Okay, first of all, I would like to welcome all the new subscribers. Oh my goodness, I was overwhelmed by how many new subscribers I had and I had to give them a treat. <clears throat> and thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you find something on here that you like and that you'll come back. Um, it's, I just do this for fun and it's just really shocking to see that people actually enjoy it and they recognize me when I go places. And I don't recognize them and I feel really bad, but I can't see you, so remember that. But thank you for watching and thank you for those that keep coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, okay, so we're going to find out what I've been up to. There wasn't much eclipse going on here in South Carolina. Um, and other than that, we're going to get started. So, <clears throat> first of all, I'm going to show my works in progress or whips. And I had a time finding one of them because I could not figure out what I had done with it because I've been gone again. So, there you go. But the first one I want to show you is one that I worked on while I was at the Two Tall Stitchers Retreat. This is from the Cricut Collection, and this is Autumn. One of my viewers gave me this, and I just really, really love it. And so now, I use all the Call 4 colors. It's all DMC, and <clears throat> it's on a 28-count Lugana. I just do not know what kind um, it is, but this is what I've got done now. And notice my thread, I was working on his hat. So, but I've got the turkey and I've got the acorns and I've got the cattails and now I'm putting a hat on the jack-o'-lantern. So, you know, my whip go is to have a page finish. Still not there, but that's okay. And it's two threads I mean, it's two strands of floss over two threads of, of uh, the linen, the even weave. So there's what I've got. And this is going to work up really nice. Um, I hope I'll have this finished by fall <clears throat> so I can put it up because this has just been one of those patterns. You know how you buy those and it's like, oh yeah, I really want to do this. And then you never do it. Yeah. Or you might do just a little bit of it and then you don't touch it again. Yeah, that would be me. The next one mm, is in time out. Usually I don't put my projects in time out when I need to rip things out, but I did this time. And it's called, do not work on this when you're in a hurry and not paying attention. <laughs> this is the needlework pop-up gathering cartouche from Friend Stitch. And this was an exclusive pattern. And I thought, oh, I'll get this done really quick and I'll have a finish. Well, I would have if I'd have put the other half in the right place. Uh, Fred Stitch is a collaboration between uh, Bent Creek and Hands On, no, and Heart and Hand. Oops, almost messed up. And here's the top of it. And here's where they made it into a drum. 
Isn't that pretty? So, <clears throat> it's on 20, oh goodness, I think it's on 28 count. No, I lied. It's on 32 count friend stitch blend linen over two threads with two strands of floss. Now, we're in the process of ripping out or frogging as some people call it or reverse stitching or unpicking. But anyway, it depends what kind of mood I'm in is what I call it. So this is what I've got. Do you notice where I messed up? I'm going to hold this up here. These are not even. How could I do that? How did that happen? So I've got to rip out all of this, which I've already ripped out more, and I've started ripping out here. This has got to go. This probably will have to go. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I'm just not a happy camper here, or a happy stitcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an easy pattern, but pay attention when you're doing symmetrical things. Mm. Yeah, but it's two strands over two. I'm using all the call for threads, which were Weak Style Works. And I love the pattern. I really do. I just don't know. Oh, I guess maybe I was holding it crooked or something. Who knows? But anyway, we'll come back to that one sometime. It won't be long, but because I've got to rip it out while I'm thinking about it. Because if I don't, I'll just pick it up and stitch it again. Do you ever do that? I don't know if you do that or not. <laughs> but anyway, and the third and final work in progress I had was uh, the Lord's Prayer Sampler from Stony Creek. And this is it. And I had so many comments on this while I was at the retreat that everybody can't wait for me to finish it. It's going to be a while, people. <laughs> but anyway, I just love the pattern. And it's on a um, 32 count. And I'm using all the call for threads, except I'm... I, I substituted Weak Style Work Swamp Water instead of Espresso DMC for the lettering. And that's what I've got done. And as usual, I've got a thread hanging because that gets me, you know, I can just sit down and just pick up, thread the needle and go. So I'm really excited about that. And I think I'm going to tie this off and then start doing some of the border because it's just so pretty. And there's going to be border over here now. But it's, it's just beautiful. So, yeah. Two over two. Okay, so those are my works in progress. I have no clue what kind of linen it's on. I told you in, in past videos, but who knows? That'll be my thing where I shrug my shoulders. The picture that they choose. Okay, now I'm going to have to insert a picture uh, for the two fully finished objects that I have because I've already given them away. And I'm going to insert it here. Okay, that is Stitching Friends uh, from Colorado Cross Stitch, and I would show you the pattern, except I got the PDF, and it's 73 by 38, and I stitched mine on just two pieces of fabric I had in my stash that weren't labeled, and see, this is what the top of the pattern looks like. The pattern's real easy to read. It's in um, color, and I've done two and finished two. So you'll you'll you will have seen those because I'll insert that. Then the next thing I worked on because I was getting ready to go to retreats, I had to have I, I was I had this great plan. I was going to make everybody a project bag. Well, that didn't happen. Um, my sewing machine and I got in an argument. The sewing machine won. I did not. This is one of the project bags I've sewn. It was some really bright, pretty fabric I had. And there's the inside. And this is some leftover from uh, little Zora, my granddaughter's quilt. So I really like that. Another retreat, maybe. Then I had more of that fabric. And there's the inside. And here is the front. And I used orange for the top just to make it just a little bit different. And then there's the back. 
Okay, then, oh, I lied, I have four. This one, oh, I've showed this one because I messed this one up, so I only have three. Okay, and this one, and if I've showed these before, I'm sorry, with the little ladybugs. I thought it was so cute. And the inside is yet more of the fabric that I had from Zora's little quilt. We have a lot of that left. And then I just had a plain back. So that's what I spent most of my time. And then the rest of the time I argued with my sewing machine and uh, because it didn't want to do what I wanted it to do. So there you go. But anyway, um, ooh, it's messy right there. Let's not do that. But um, anyway, that is what uh, I have finished this week, this past two weeks ago. All right, so we have a free pattern today and that is from Rami's Creation, and it's called Welcome Spring. And I will have to insert a picture here. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of editing going on. Okay, so now let's talk about the Too Tall Stitchers Retreat. Okay, it was April 5th through the 7th. It's a small retreat. It's on, there's only 30 people. Sorry about the camera. It keeps moving. Um, I just had a wonderful time. It, it's a sit and stitch retreat without any special classes or retreat projects. But we had like, you know, like a, a little snack table and things. And they also had a smalls exchange, which I participated in. And um, I hope the lady enjoyed my small. Um, I will insert a picture of that because I've already given that away here. Okay, we're doing a lot of insertion today. I hope it works. Okay, then in return, I picked number 10. So I was the last one. There was no swapping or Chinese auction, you know, nothing like that. And I got the best project of all, I think. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful journal. And my new friend, Susan, made it. Um, all the ladies were just so sweet. And I just really had the most wonderful time. And I stayed at a friend's house. And it was just wonderful. I loved every minute. And it was just over way too soon. But she did, uh, Susan did the pattern, Seasonal Courier, Robin Spring, by Robin Pickens, and she put it on a journal, and she crocheted edging on it. Is that not just gorgeous? And it's done on perforated paper, and I think she used two strands of floss. Not really sure, but it's just a plain journal. You can, um, or a sketchbook. You can do either thing. It, it, you can do watercolor. She said she wants me to draw her some pictures. We will not be showing those on this video <laughs> because I don't draw well. And she got me this water, uh, this Prismacolor, which is a top of the line pencil and a high polymer uh, eraser. These are fantastic. So thank you so much, Susan. I really, really love it. And I just, I just look at it. I set it up and I just look at it and say, oh, that's so pretty, that's so pretty. So this is gonna be in my spring display. And then maybe after a while, I might try to draw something. A stick bird? <laughs> Who knows? Because <laughs> I only draw stick people. So what? why not a stick bird? Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. That was, ooh, I'm about to lose that. That was amazing and fun. And we stitched and we went to eat. And the food was good. And the weather was great. The wind blew a lot, though. Uh, but it's very pretty up there, and Zionsville is such a pretty town. And at the end of the video, I will show some pictures. Um, well, I may show them at the beginning. You've probably already seen them. Anyway, I'm going to put them somewhere in this video. Can you tell I'm really prepared? <laughs> okay, but then they had a freebie table, and they had a stash table where you could buy things, too. And, oh, you know I didn't buy anything. Ha, ha. So anyway, oops, this doesn't go with that. Okay. 
All right, first of all, I'm gonna start showing, it's kind of mixed up, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, I'm going to show what I bought off the stash table. Okay. I bought these buttons. I got, well, no, I got these buttons from Shepherd's Bush. I don't think I bought them. And then I got, oops, this button. And everything's mixed up. Some things are free, some things I bought. This button, these are ceramic buttons. And usually Shepherd's Bush uses these buttons. And Mill Hill does not make them anymore. So if you see any ceramic buttons, you need to get them. And this little bunny rabbit button. Is he not cute? Another birdhouse button. Another birdhouse button. And another bunny button. Just cute, cute, cute. Oh, and then I got two of these, the little hair dryers. I think I'm going to make my... Uh, I'm going to do this so you can see it. I'm going to make my hairstylist some earrings. So, that'll be fun. Okay, and I know the other one's somewhere around here, but eh, yeah, it'll turn up. Okay, then I saw this uh, thing that it's all beachy stuff, and I thought this is just really cute. It was just a little leaflet thing, and I got that because I thought the tote bag was really cute. Then they had this Coffee House Favorites. And it had cappuccino, Irish coffee, espresso, java. And my kitchen's done in coffee. So I thought, mm, I need this. Then I got a Better Home and Gardens Cross Stitch and Country Crafts Treasures in Needlework book, uh, magazine off the freebie table. It had some really pretty um, patterns that I liked. Um, so I picked this up. And I'm not going to leaf through it because... Oops, that's why I had to buy it myself, or not buy it, but get it myself. Hold on. I dropped some loot. Okay, then uh, this Heart and Hand Robin Sampler, and I look at this all the time at my LNS and say I'm going to buy it. Never do. So now I don't have to. Then I found Jeanette Douglas's Fall into Autumn pattern. Got home, realized I already had one, so I'm going to Keep this one for myself, and the one I've not used, I'm going to use for a giveaway later. Who knew? Um, then, oh, I won that. Oops. Okay, then this Beach Bound 2 from Glendon Place. It says, Tiki Bar Open. Fill your time with relaxing sunsets. In search of the perfect wave, when life is a beach, make sandcastles. Aren't those cute? And so summery. And... I don't have anything summery and beachy. Then I found this down the garden path by Shepherd's Bush. And you know, I love Shepherd's Bush. Look at all those beautiful patterns. And this is where those birdhouses will come in handy. Yes. All right. Then I found this bead uh, scissor fob with a sand castle. Isn't that pretty? Had to get that. Because every now and then, you know, I might want a bead. Then I found Priscilla and Chelsea's Be Mine. And I thought that was kind of cute. So I got that. Didn't have that. I was greedy, okay? But nobody else seemed to want them. I waited till the last day. And so I just got them. This one's called A Day at the Beach. And it's got seashells, sand castles, sailboat, and beach house. Isn't that cute? From Cottage Garden Needleworks. Then... I also got, no, I bought that, excuse me, I bought that, or did I? Yeah, I did, okay. Then I also got, um, oh yeah, here it is, okay. Erica Michaels, uh, Goodwill to Men. That was on the freebie table, I think. 
I'm not sure if it's on the stash table or the freebie table. But everything was a great buy. You couldn't resist it. Then I got Cozy into Winter from Jeanette Douglas, which I did not have. Yay! So that was good. <clears throat> then I got another one that I can't show uh, just because, well, it's going to be a gift. I can't show that. And then I got Gardner Needle Roll because it's got bunnies on it and everybody loves bunnies and it's the whole kit i can just do that because it's got you can see the pattern so all right and did i get anything else yes i did i got the november 2009 cross stitch and needlework magazine because there were some cute things in here yeah so i got a lot of stash and freebies and i will say most of those were freebies yeah where people had stitched them and they didn't want them oh here's one more oh goodness or two more just man's witching hour cube i'm not much on all the little pointy mice but i really liked the cube and of course it's halloween and i like halloween so there you go and then they had this saint patrick's pin cushion um, it was a free design in Nashville. And since I'm Scotch-Irish, there you go. Isn't that pretty with the clovers? The shamrocks, I mean. Okay, so that's what I got. And Jennifer and Carol are just so nice. Uh, they just were so friendly. All the ladies there were friendly. We just stitched and stitched and laughed and talked and we had show and tell, which I will also show in the video, and I will show that here. It's amazing how much talent there is. Yeah, my husband and me was just waiting over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I sat down over there because, like, I just am all overcome, so I'm a mess. Yeah. What are your questions? This chart up here. Yes. Um, I think I probably still have the pattern. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. My darling's a gorgeous. I mean, her 20th anniversary. I will um, uh, friend me on Facebook and then send me a message. And when I get home, I might still have it somewhere. It's really like you, you do what Kim did. You put yeah. our name plates. Mm -hmm. Put our name I know. The, the I know. Let, put it right there. Or so we should have brought a name plate. So yeah, and everybody wants it. Right. Very nice. This is why we have to talk to each other. I, right. <laughs> this came from you. Oh, really? That's perfect. This came from home, but I think they have a lot of Perfect. Did you do the finish? No. I didn't. I did down, though. I did down, though. I did down, though. Oh, yeah. Yes. Who did you Yeah. Oh, can you do the finish? 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. No, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. Like these. Let's just pull on the top. The Merry Christmas. Thank you. 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 This has to be Carol. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know you. I know you. Yeah. Yeah. I never have done the one I got from the last year. I made a bunch of those. No, that's Nancy. Oh, that's Nancy. Oh, that's Nancy. I don't know. They're all packed away. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now, we're going to talk about stitchy kindness, okay? <clears throat> First of all, I forgot. Well, now I can't find it. Rat. Um, well, we'll start with the stitchy kindness at Two Tall Stitchers. Okay, somebody got me this cute little notebook to write my projects and things in. Somebody gave me some ribbon. I got a Two Tall Stickers Stitchers sticker. Now that's a tongue twister. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I got these beautiful, floss, colorful floss drops. They're just very, very colorful. Look at that. And they're on this nice key cord. Then um, I got, now notice I'm not telling you who they're from because I can't remember. I got these beautiful floss drops, but she was nice enough to put her name on it. Raspberry Stitcher. Thank you, Barbara. And it says, be kind. And look at that. Raspberry Blooms. And she gave me these little light bulb pins. So I can use those. And I always need those and don't have them. Then, okay. Oh, yeah. Then I got in this cute little bag, Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't see this. I could have used this at the last retreat I was at. This is from Susan. I got some Purell wipes. So they're going to go in a bag for when I go to the next retreat, which we'll talk about later. Uh, then she gave me some floss drops in this little pack. I think that's what they're for because they're on a little key ring. Then I got a boo-boo stick in a little vial, and that's really good because if you throw it in your bag with your floss, it gets stuck in it. So thank you, thank you. This is definitely gonna be used. I also got another one, and this has its own little cover. And with this one, you can either floss your teeth or you can, I wouldn't do both, that would be gross. But you can floss your teeth or you can use it to scratch off the lint off your piece. Sorry, I shook that. But that's from Susan, the sweet lady that gave me the um, Smalls Exchange. And I got some beautiful variegated floss. This is number 67 and it's DMC. Thank you, Susan. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. Well, all of y'all are sweet. Okay, then... I went to Persnickety's. You know, you have to go to Persnickety's. Uh, that's a needlework and quilting store. Um, no, not needlework and quilting. It's needlework and needlepoint. Mm, yes. And I'm, I don't show much of the needlepoint in the shop tour. I start out with the needlepoint just because I just started on that side of the store. But I didn't show probably two-thirds of the needlepoint. But I showed all the cross-stitch. So be sure and watch that. But anyway, I was collecting the Country Cottage Needleworks Cottage of the Month patterns, and I didn't have May. So, I bought that. That was on my list. Saw this, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is really cute. Now, I can't show the whole pattern. Well, oh, it's got the design on the back. It's a postcard pattern, and it will fit a 4 by 6 frame if you use 14 or 28 count. And they told you just to pick your own colors. And it says Great Smoky Mountains. Well, that's where I was born. Oh, well, you know, I'm from the Great Smoky Mountains. And there's the pattern. Isn't that cute? Now, I'm not showing you the actual charted pattern. That's just the little picture they've got on the little postcard. 
and you could actually mail this to somebody, but I'm not going to do it. I'm keeping it for myself because I'm greedy. Okay, so then, <laughs> so then I saw this and I was like, oh, got to have this. This is called Embroidery Christmas, and this is from Nikki's Creation. Isn't that just gorgeous? And um, I don't know if I'll put the lace on the top like that, but I'll do something. I just think that's just so cute. And then, thanks to Georgia Girl and Just Keep Stitching Pam, um, I saw this, and this is not the exact pattern that she did, but it's from Abby Rose Designs, and I saw this at Persnickety, and I said, oh, there's one of those bells. And this one's Tis the Season. Isn't that just beautiful? And nobody seems to know what happened to her. So, um... I thought I better get it while the getting was good. Then, yes, there's more. I went crazy. Then I was collect I'm collecting the Prairie Schooler um, monthly patterns, and I got May. It says May brings flocks of pretty lambs skipping by their fleecy dams. Yes, and this is what I got because I'm trying to get all the monthly patterns, and then I'm gonna stitch those. I've been collecting them for a while. And last but not least, you know, I had to get a Halloween pattern. I got brooms and blooms from uh, Finally a Farm Girl. Isn't that pretty? It's nice and Halloween-y. So, I love Chrissy's patterns. So, I uh, got that. Then, I won something at the um, retreat. And it's a pattern and also there was a little notepad in there this is caught from heartstring samplery and it's forget me not isn't that pretty cute little pillow with violets on it and there's the itch to stitch and i have a shirt to match just because my daughter well it's not exactly but it says the itch to stitch um something like i'm itching to be stitching or something so it matched so this is really cute and these are sticky notes so, thank you so much, Jen and Carol, Jennifer and Carol. I appreciate it. So, that was a lot of haul, but I usually don't do that. Now, Persnickety Stitches um, will be, their information will be down below. It's a neat, neat, neat shop. If you ever get the chance, you need to go to Zionsville. It's just the cutest little town. That's the cutest shop. She's very sweet and kind, the lady is, that runs it. Her name is Vicki. And, of course, Carol and Jennifer work there, too, sometimes. So, be sure and check that out. Okay? All right. So, now, <clears throat> I am going to... Um, yes, I am. Um, hang on. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is... Um... Well, I'm sorry. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna insert a video of Persnickety Stitches, so be sure and watch that. But um, then after that, I'm going to insert a video of Sue's Stitching, the lady that was so kind and let me stay with her. She's a good, good friend, and she's a fantastic needleworker, I'm telling you, and quilter, oh my goodness. But I just showed the cross stitch, um, and I didn't show near all of it. <laughs> There's so much. And my bedroom was Amish that she let me sleep in. I even had my own little Amish bonnet, and it was so cute. And there was a pie safe in my room. I mean, everything was just like out of a picture book. The town, Sue's house, everything. I just had them, and the people were just wonderful. Thank you so much. I can't wait to, I hope I get to go back again. And so now... With that, be sure and stay tuned because you're going to see Persnickety's shop tour and you're also going to see Sue's stitching. Have a great day and I'll see you later this week with another retreat. Bye-bye. Keep happy, happy stitching and uh, I'll see you soon.